Hey, Renovation Church family. Just wanted to bring you an update on our Hurricane Florence uh, response efforts. First, let me just say what a privilege it has been uh, to be able to serve this community. Uh, Renovation, you have uh, come together in such a powerful and profound way uh, to be able to show this community the love of Christ. And I'm just so thankful to be a part of this, this family, uh, this church body, and I'm believing that God has even some greater things in store for us. I mean, the days are getting mixed together, and I'm just simply calling it, it's, today is the day that we just entitle, whatever it takes. What is today? Whatever it takes. So we're gonna put a big smile on our face. We recognize that every day is a gift from God, and we have this incredible perspective that no matter what we face, we can face it knowing that God will sustain us, He will be with us, and He provides everything that we need in order to make it through the, the day ahead. And so we're here to love on a community and this community. I want to cast a little vision to uh, what these next few days looks like. Uh, here we are going into another weekend of, of disaster relief efforts. And so even today, we're here in Cross Creek serving so many uh, families here, getting to know them. Uh, the friendships uh, have uh, gone deeper and further than we've ever would have dreamed of, but it's a result of this disaster. So much good is coming out of the disaster. We're here today. We'll be here tomorrow. Uh, you can join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the office. And then Saturday, just want you to know that Saturday we are going to serve this community uh, in a very special way. I'm inviting you to join me at Topsail High School, 9 o'clock. We're going to pray for our community. We're going to gather there for all who can be there. And then we're going to deploy to Cross Creek. We're going to come and we're just going to love on this community. There's so many uh, opportunities here to serve this community, whether it's debris cleanup, uh, cleaning out homes, or simply just being here with the children and families up at the field. And so we're going to come and love this community in a very special, meaningful way Saturday. Now let me talk to you about Sunday. Many of you have been asking and sending in emails, when are we going to meet together again? And the good news is this, we have gotten the green light to meet at Topsail High School once again for our Sunday morning gatherings. Now, we don't have all the facility, so we're making those adjustments. But when you show up, we're going to be uh, ready to serve and celebrate uh, all the things that God has for us. So we have our gatherings this Sunday, 915 and 1115. Our Camp Renovate kids will be joining us in our adult environment. And then our rental city will move over to Camp Renovate. We'll have the two gymnasiums. It's going to be an incredible day. You don't want to miss out. And I'm just encouraging you to do this. Take a time out. I need a time out. You need a time out. Together, uh, we will come and just be encouraged by togetherness, the body of Christ coming together. And I want you to know, don't miss the opportunity to be able to stop have a conversation with the neighbor that you've got to know and invite them to come be a part of one of our Sunday morning gatherings. Uh, who knows uh, what might happen Sunday, but we do know this. God is always at work, never not at work. Let's invite our community to join us Sunday as we worship together. And then the following week, we have teams coming in from all parts of the country, from Florida uh, to Buffalo, a team coming in from Texas and Raleigh and, and Ohio, so many different areas. So it's a beautiful thing that we're seeing as a community of Christ come together from all parts of our nation to be able to serve this community here. So I look forward to seeing you Sunday. Be ready to go. It's going to be a great day.